Hi guys, Rob from Rob's Model Cars and today I have a review of another Ferrari model. Uh, now this model is actually from a relatively new model company called Velos uh, and there's only really two places that I've found these models. One is at carloverdiecast.com, uh, they're based in China and the other one is the Hiltaway Toy Company in Hong Kong. Now Hiltaway also trade on eBay under the name Hiltaway uh, but they also have a Facebook page as well where they regularly update uh, new model releases, especially all these custom models from Velos. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below to Hiltaway's Facebook page so you can jump on there and check out the models that they have. Uh, now this is a high-end model, it is a resin model and it is sealed. Uh, so being that this is the first Velos model review, uh, we'll start with the packaging. So. It's pretty much just a plain white box like the earlier Davis and Giovanni models. It only just has a little bit of labeling here uh, which names the model. Uh, so we'll get this out and we'll have a look. So this is based on one of Mansory's tuned cars. Now if you don't know, Mansory is a tuning company in Germany that modifies Ferraris, Lamborghinis, all sorts of cars for those after something a little bit more unique. Uh, and this is based on the Mansory Syracuse 4XX uh, and here the model is. So we'll get this out on the turntable, we'll have a closer look and we'll talk a little bit more about this new brand Velos. Okay guys, so let's have a closer look at this brand new Velos model of the Mansory Syracuse 4XX. Now we'll start with the base of this model, it does come on a brown tan suede colored base and it's got the stitching around the outside and something nice with this model that actually does come with a real carbon fiber piece for the nameplate uh, has the new model brand Velos uh, has the Syracuse 4XX branding and the model edition so this is a one of one uh, Velos actually made five models in this same yellow with the carbon fiber roof uh, but it had black wheels on it. So this one being a one of one, this has the white wheels and the tan seats inside just for something a little bit different. So first impressions of this model, it's a very high quality model. Uh, I wasn't quite sure what to expect because this is the first Velos model that I've bought uh, and they seem to be quite a new brand so there's not that much information out there uh, about these models. So it is based on the Mansory Syracuse. Uh, I've had a lot, a lot of look at the images on the internet uh, and the model seems pretty accurately replicated based on the images that I've seen from Mansory. Now this model is based on the 488 Ferrari uh, and this is Mansory's take on, uh, I'd say it's sort of a tribute to the uh, LaFerrari FXXK uh, they've sort of added a slightly pointier nose to the front of the car and you do have these FXXK style winglets on the back of it as well. Uh, it's not a wide body car um, but it does have uh, the extra body work um, and it does make the 488 look a lot more aggressive. Now some of these aftermarket tuning companies that modify exotic cars, to be honest most of them are pretty ugly, I don't like them. Um, but I think Mansory has done a pretty good job with this Syracuse 4XX. Uh, it makes the 488 look a lot more aggressive. And they're obviously making a statement. So for those that want to modify their 488 Ferrari and have something a bit different, they can take their cars to Mansory and they can do this to it. So we'll start. Overall quality of the model is really very good. The paint finish is super glossy, uh, I can't fold it at all on this model. Uh, it is equal to Davis and Giovanni as far as paint finish goes, I believe. Uh, and the carbon fibre work on this model also is very, very well done. Best I've seen, I think. Uh, the carbon fibre pattern is actually matched left to right through the middle of the model. Now that join line runs through the bonnet, through the roof and through the back of the car as well. Uh, now the carbon fibre decal work doesn't stop there, uh, all the front splitters, diffusers, scoops are all carbon fibre. We've got little carbon fibre 
vents in the top of the front wings. The mirrors are carbon fibre. The side skirts are carbon fibre. The door handles are carbon fibre and also these trim vent extensions and the blade inside is also carbon fibre. Uh, also the rear hatch cover and these FXX style winglets are all carbon fibre as is the whole rear diffuser in the back of the car as well. So all carbon fibre, all very very well done. Um, some of the best carbon fibre work on a resin model that I've seen to date. So very impressed with that. Uh, and it does also have the carbon fibre mansory stripe up the side. And we've got the 01 number on the door, which is to pay homage to the FXX cars, which all run numbers on the doors as well. So overall, uh, very, very impressed with the outside uh, finish of these new Velos models. Uh, I, I cannot fault it. Uh, I also have to note that the plastic that they use for the windows in these models is super clear, very, very good clarity. Uh, no sign of any rippling uh, like some of the other resin models uh, that I've seen and owned. Um, really, really good stuff. Uh, the, also the rear window has the diffuser heater lines on there as well, uh, which is a pretty standard thing with Ferraris uh, nowadays. Um, replicated quite well. So I guess next we'll start with the engine. So being that this, is, this car is based on the 488, uh, it does have the twin turbo V8 motor inside. Uh, very good detail. There's not a lot of detail with the new 488 engine to look through the top uh, as the turbos are mounted lower, uh, but it is surrounded with all the carbon fiber trims all the way around the engine. Uh, really, really good detail there. And the next is the interior. So the interior of this model is really, really good as well. Uh, the whole top of the instrument cluster, the binnacle, is all carbon fibre. Now this does have a join line through the middle of it as well, and the carbon fibre is matched left to right, uh, and that continues to the top of the steering wheel as well. The top of the steering wheel is actually carbon fibre matched left to right, uh, which is a great little attention to detail. Uh, the rest of the detail of the interior is really very good. We've got some yellow piping colour lines on the dashboard, and on the door trims. Uh, and we've got the tan leather seats in this model, uh, which also has a little bit of tan in the door trims and the lower dash panels as well. So I cannot complain with the level of detail on this new Velos model. So overall, uh, you know, the, the model does have really well replicated wheels the brakes, brake calipers, they're all at a very high level as you'd expect as this is a high-end uh, resin model. And I'm very happy with it. It's something a little bit different. Uh, I don't collect a lot of modified supercars other than my Liberty Walk uh, models. Uh, but this is, this is something which is pretty cool. It's very striking. It stands out and I thought I would add it to the collection. So as I say, if you want to find out a little bit more about Velos models, uh, use the link below and jump onto their Facebook page and have a look at the models that they sell. And yeah, if you're interested in a Velos model, uh, send them an email. Uh, I dealt with Kitty uh, at Hiltaway uh, and she was really very good. Um, the price was a little bit negotiable and the item was well packed and sent EMS. I got this model very, very quickly from Hong Kong and very happy with it. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do. Uh, if you like this video, click the like button, uh, click your notifications so you don't miss any new videos. And thanks for watching this review of the brand new Velos Mansory Syracuse 4XX. And I'll see you next time.